死んじゃいそうですあ、私もう死んでましたよっほほほほよく、無事ね
This is my least favorite part of this mission is find the crew. There's Zoro, because you usually gotta find him first. Usually Sanji's nearby Zoro or it's uh Usopp, one of the two. There's Sanji. Now I just need to find Frankie. No, there's also the other Usopp here. There's Frankie. Okay. And when he used one of his, his taunts, his legs shake.
Because who stops a coward? Like, he puts his staff in the ground, he's like, his legs start shaking, he points that way. This is Usopp we're talking about. What? Yeah. Oh good, they're using Dofi. This is gonna be interesting. Come back! Take me with you. What the fuck? <laughs> he glitched. <laughs> that happens a lot more than you think. I mean, honestly, if I wanted to just like blow through this, I could just switch to my level 100 white beard and just go ham on everyone. Chopper! Huh? For who? Actually, they act so when so when you play the game, they actually had the storyline takes you from beginning to dress Rosa, but the fourth game kind of skips quite a few different arts, but it takes you from uh, the beginning. The, so the first, the fourth game takes you from Alabasta to um, Wano, which is the end game, which is the the current arc they're in. So they don't just like you know yeet you into the game with no experience whatsoever. They they give you the first level you do is where Luffy meets Zoro and they do the tutorial from there if you ever want to play just let me know and I'll switch over to your file and I'll guide you through it but it's relatively simple but if you try to platinum this shit yeah um, good luck the, the fourth game is easier to platinum than this so for this one, the platinum, you have to get the trophy. We know everything, which means you have to get every character, both playable and non-playable, to max status. And since you can only do that through the uh, the dream log and nightmare log, and it's randomized every time, you can end up in one level and get, you know, say you max out the straw hats, you can get one maxed out straw hat. And one person who's like level four. Okay, they got Robin. Okay, where the flying hell am I going? Hello? Hello there! Oh, hello there! You finna join our doubt fire here? Keep away from me! I have eight million men under my command! By the way, that movie just used is called Birdcage. I mean, honestly, if I wanted to, I could pretty much run. Actually, I actually have. I've beaten this game on normal, hard, and super hard. But sadly, there's no trophy for beating the game on super hard mode.
I'm just here for like backup and more support. This Do Flamingo is just going ham on everyone's asses. Look, my dude, where you going? Okay, he got Zoro. You should get Zoro, Sanji's nearby, or Frankie, or Usopp, but I have no Did he get Frankie yet? No, he did not. Is he with... Yep. He just got Sanji, so where's Frankie? Frankie is the one of the most is one of the difficult ones to find if you don't know where the flying hell There you are, Frankie! Come here, buddy! I missed you! Alright, the last one is Chopper. Since I'm playing Uzu Sop. I mean, honestly, I really wish they would remaster the first two games for the PS4 and new consoles. I understand why they're not going to remaster them. The first one was coin-based, where if you get three coins together, you basically unlock a skill. The second game was a what-if type of game. Like, what if uh, Whitebeard and Ace never bit the dust in Marineford? What if, and it's it's a, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong. Like the Pirate Warriors games, if you ever just need a release, you want to take on thousands of enemies at once with no holds bars. Uh, Pirate Warriors is a good game, but Pirate Warriors game is based off of Dynasty Warriors, which are I believe they're called Muso games. Not a hundred percent sure. Don't quote me on it. I'd have to look it up. Who? Uh, that was a waste. Oh wait, I hit somebody. Yay! It wasn't a waste. As long as I whack one enemy, I'm good. Nobody backs you stop in the corner. Alright, you go that way, I I'll deal with this shit. Get out of my way! Oh wait, you're over the way there. What the fuck?
Yeah, Oz is a giant zombie who has Luffy's shadow inside of him. So when you see Oz using Luffy's techniques, that's why. And the reason why Oz has Luffy's shadow is because uh, uh, Gekko Moya's devil fruit allows him to literally pull out your shadow and he's got these fat ass pits where he just cuts them off and shoves your shadow inside of a zombie corpse. Because The reason why he's doing that is because he wants to be Pirate King as well, but he wants to do it upon, you know, the undead. Because his crew got wiped out by Kaido. And the rule with the shadow is if you enter the light without your shadow, you're basically wiped from existence. Oh shit. Boys, buddy, eat a Snickers. Cause you're not you when you're. I mean, honestly, I can tank these hits because I have the um. I have Ship Doctor's Wisdom uh, Double Plus, which rapidly increases how much health I get back. Excuse me. Sanji's legs on fire. That that's his technique, Diablo Jumba, he develops in Ennis Lobby. My dudes, hurry up before he comes back. So uh from one god to another, how does it feel up there? That's also a running joke in Dressrosa. Usopp is the supposed savior. Well, not supposed savior. He did technically save a bunch of people from who were turned into toys and turned them back, and they named him God Usopp. Like literally, a giant held him up by his hands and like God Usopp, God Usopp. It was funny as fuck. Oh. I forgot I had these. I also got this bag of tricks. Oh! Forgot about that. Coffee candy. Hey, I'm a butterfinger.
well, they skipped the video, but then Bartholomew Kuma shows up and he asks Perona, if you could take a vacation anywhere in the world, where would you go? And then he sends her to wherever the hell she wanted to go. Kuma's not necessarily a bad guy, but his devil fruit power is nuts. He has the power of the paw paw fruit. So basically... What? No, he literally has paw pads on his hand. And with those, he can basically either teleport you somewhere... Or... I don't think I can use him in this game, huh? No, I can't use him in this game. So what he just did to me, he can do that to anyone. He also has a special called Ursa Shock where he'll like punt, he'll like tap himself and he'll make like a little paw and he'll slowly condense it and then let it go. Did the exact same thing with Luffy. Like he basically tapped his chest and basically he told Zoro, this is all the pain that your captain suffered here on this island. If you can take all of that, I'll basically forget you over here. But he has a little taste, and he sends like a little tiny orb to, to, to Zoro. Fucked him up. But Zoro being the badass that he is, he's like, you know what? Fuck all of this, I'm tanking the whole thing. And that's where the meme, um, it was nothing came from. Because Zoro stood there, bloody as fuck, ripped shirt and everything. And Sanji's like, what happened? He's like, nothing happened. He's just like staring off into space. But to be fair, um, Zoro did technically knock out Sanji for that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No! I ain't getting bazooka, motherfucker. And yeah, that is Gekko Moria sitting in Oz's stomach. And you can actually fight Wapo in this game too. And there are, um, those question marks you see are known as um, event quests. Well, if you get it, so in order to get a full 100% of the level, you have to get that done. But if you don't give a damn about, uh, you know, getting sp certain coins for your characters, you can skip those. But if you ever get stuck on them, I'll do them for you. Book, you better not flee! You better hurry up to deal with that fucking Moria! Oh, there you go. See, try Moria before he gets back to Oz. And also, this, so this particular level is a pain in the ass because not only do you have to fight Oz, but you also have to fight Gekko Moria when he uses his, uh, his finisher. And that shit ain't fun. Don't worry, Dofi, I got this. You just sit back and relax. Whee! Oh, fuck. Hi, buddy! Nope, I'm not getting bazooka.
Other way, other way! We have to take out all the Gekka Moyas before they reconverge. Because if we don't take them all out, Oz gets back health. One down, one to go, I guess. If he flees, we're screwed. This is the final round. Yeah. 